in the previous problem number seven of IIT Advanced 2020. A particle was following circular orbits under the influence of potential energy V equals to FR. If potential energy given is positive, it means the conservative force acting on the mass particle got to be repulsive in nature. And if it is repulsive in nature, particle cannot follow the circular path. Further, for the practical reasons, if you take potential energy to be negative and further solve, then the total energy of the circulating particle must be negative. And what I observed in various available solutions, the potential energy, they have taken it to be positive, even the total energy is positive. This appears to be seemingly ridiculous. So anyway, I have my own reservations. Let's proceed with solution of question number eight. In this problem, we have a filament of surface area S is equals to 64 millimeter square. The temperature of the filament is 2500 Kelvin and we need to treat this as a perfect black body. What we need to calculate is power radiated by the filament. We already know the power radiated by the filament of surface area S should be given by sigma t raised to the power 4 into S. I hope you can remember this term is stand for the energy radiated per unit area per unit time as the surface area of the filament happens to be S and hence the energy emitted by the whole filament in all different directions in one second should be given by this expression. Substitute all the values given. The value, the Stephens constant sigma is equals to 5.67 is to 10 is to the power minus 8 in SI units and the temperature is 10,000 by 4 raised to the power 4 and the surface area happens to be 64 multiplied by 10 is to the power minus 6 in SI units. So this is further equals to 5 whole 2 by 3 multiplied by 10 is to the power minus 8 and this is 10 raised to the power 16 by 4 is to 4 is to 4 is to 4 multiplied by 64 is to 10 is to the power minus 6. This is equals to 17 by 3 multiplied by 4 and this is further multiplied by 10 is to the power 16 minus 14 and this is equals to 1700 divided by 12 which is approximately equals to 142 watts as this value is quite far away from this range and hence this option can be rejected straight away. In part B, I am supposed to find power entering one eye. The radius of the eye is given to be 3 millimeter. Now let's do it. See. So over here is the filament of surface area S at temperature 25 100 Kelvin and we have already calculated the amount of energy emitted per second by this filament happens to be capital P and this turns out to be 142 watts. Now next part, take this point as center and draw a sphere of radius small r. This part of the circle, now you need to imagine the complete sphere of radius of small r. The total surface area of this sphere got to be 4 pi into small r square. Now next, whatever amount of energy emitted by this filament per second, so same amount of energy must leave this area per second. So if I divide p by 4 pi is small r square, I should be getting total amount of energy leaving per unit area per unit time. Is that right? Now I am asking you, to imagine, uh, to imagine an eye over here. This eye of radius is small a. So amount of energy entering eye per second can be obtained by multiplying this expression by pi into a square. The value of p we have already calculated this to be 142 watts and this is pi and pi will cancel and this is 4 and the r 
because the eye, the observer, happens to be at 100 meters away from the filament, and hence this is 10 raised to the power 2, the whole square multiplied by 3 is to 10 raised to the power minus 3 whole square. And this is equals to divided, this is equals to 35.5. So this is equals to 35.5 is to 9 multiplied by 10 raised to the power minus 6 and then minus 4. Is it right? And this multiplication, this multiplication, 335 minus 35.5. So that makes 319.5. So this is 319.5 is to 10 is to the power minus 10 joules. So this is the joules per second. So this is the amount of energy entering our eye through area pi into small a square. And this is equals to about 3.20 is to 10 is to the power minus 8 watt. Now let's check whether this answer is correct or not. Uh, because uh, the calculated value that lies in between these two numbers. And hence I can consider this to be the correct option as well. In part C, I am supposed to calculate wavelength corresponding to maximum intensity of light. So according to Wien's displacement law. Lambda m is to t equals to Wien's constant. Lambda m happens to the wavelength corresponding to maximum intensity. And this is what we are supposed to calculate. So lambda n and the value of t is equals to 10,000 divided by 4. And the value of Wien's constant, it is given in the numerical to be 2.90 is to 10 is to the power minus 3. This is 2.90 is to 10 is to the power minus 3. And this implies that the value of lambda m equals to 2.9 multiplied by 4 is to 10 is to the power minus 7. <clears throat> and which is equals to 17.6 is to 10 is to the power minus 7 meters. Or <clears throat> the value of lambda m is equals to 1760 nanometer and this also happens to be the answer and hence we can also consider c to be the correct option in part d we are supposed to calculate the total number of photons entering one eye of the observer the average wavelength is also given the total number of photons entering our eye per second can be calculated by knowing how much amount of radiation that enters our eye per second upon the energy of one photon. So what I mean, the number, number got to be energy entering one I per second divided by energy of one photon. Now let's calculate because this energy entering one I per second is already known to us and that is equals to 3.20 is to 10 is to the power minus 8 watt. So let's calculate the energy of one photon and the energy of one photon can be calculated as HC by lambda and this is equals to 12.42 is to 10 is to the power minus 7 electron volt meter and this is further equals to uh, 1740 is to 10 is to the power minus 9 meters. This will cancel and this is further equals to 12.42 is to 10 is to the power minus 7 divided by 17.4 is to 10 is to the power minus 7 and the answer will be an electron volt. This is about, let's try to calculate this further. This is, uh, we know that 17 sevens are this is 119. This is close to close to 120, 124. So let's assume this answer turns out to be about uh, 0 0.7. Then 1.6 is to 10 is to the power minus 19 joules. And this is equals to uh, 101.12 is to 10 is to the power minus 19 joules. Now substitute these two values over here. This is equals to, let's check. This is equals to 3.20. This is 
टू जीरो इज टू टेन इज टू दावर माइनस एट वॉट एंड दिस इज इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट वन टू इज टू टेन इज टू दावर माइनस नाइनटीन जूल्स एंड दिस टर्न्स टू बी अबाउट टू पॉइंट नाइन इज टू टेन इज टू दावर टेन इज टू दावर इलेवन फोटॉन्स पर सेकेंड नो दिस नंबर is very close to the number given and hence i can accept d also to be the correct option thank you